y'all yeah, welcome back to my channel today's video as you can see from the title it is going to be another hair review video this video is sponsored by tina she so thank you so much tina she for sponsoring this video so we're going to get right into me installing the hair me doing my makeup a little bit and then we'll be back in chat getting straight into the wig this is how your wig will come in the cute little box of course i told you guys i do have a 13 by 4 lace front wig and 16 inches all of their socials are on the back of the box and the wig is hd lace it is a glueless wig it does have two combs on the side a comb in the back and a comb in the top and this wig did come with an elastic band that is what makes the wig glueless super cute I did not bleach the knots this time because I did go ahead and go in with the Even New York Tinted Lace. I do get a brown that's almost at least my skin tone or a little bit darker than my skin tone because it just makes the lace look a little bit better. Of course, it's not as good as bleaching the knots, but it definitely does it does the job. I like this a lot better than using like foundation, a powder foundation, because once this dries, it's not going to bleed off onto your head, unlike foundation and powder foundation. Even if that is dry, it's still going to be on your um, forehead. Right here, I'm just parting out a front section that I'm going to start plucking. I didn't do too much plucking to this hair, but I do like to part out a little bit in the front so you don't pluck that. Because if you do choose to do baby hairs, that will be your baby hairs. And then also, you don't want your lace to be looking like it's bald in the front. So I always part out a little bitty piece in the front and then I'll go behind that line and then I'll start plucking. I do pluck pluck skip, pluck pluck skip, pluck pluck skip, pluck pluck skip and that's kind of my little method for plucking. Before we do anything, we're going to put this edge wax on the hair. This just lays down all the flyaways and it gives you a really, really good mold to your hair. I am going in with a hot comb and then I'm going to hot comb all of that back. <laughs> doesn't seem like I plucked a lot but this is the hair that I combed out after plucking and then after plucking I do like to put the wig on my head to kind of see if I need to make any adjustments plug more here or plug more there um, this wig did come pre curled as you can see super cute I love that it definitely minimized the work that I have to do to the wig after putting the wig on and seeing the placement of everything then I will go ahead and start on my makeup A uh, few of y'all still ask me how I do my makeup or complimenting in my makeup a lot. So I decided to put in a little bitty piece of that. I have to use primer and I have to use a hydrating primer because I do have dry skin. So the um, I think that was Tarte base primer. Um, it's okay. Um, now that I'm using a little more, I am liking it a little bit better. It is hydrating for the most part. So that's that. And then after doing that, I go ahead and go into my brows. I did use the Anastasia Dip Brow Powder, but I recently started to use a um, brow pen pencil. I do like the way the pencil looks rather than the um, dip brow because it makes it a little bit less harsh, if you will. Even with the light hand, um, the primate still can be a little bit more harsh than the actual pencil. Right here, I forgot that I did have that lace in the bag, so I'm going to go ahead and cut that off with the eyebrow razor. 
um, it's a little bit easier than actually using scissors back there. Then I'll go ahead and clean up my brows and then I will start with um, concealer. I do concealer under my eyebrows and then on the top of my eyebrows I like to use um, whatever foundation that I'm using at the time. This particular time I am using um, Fenty. Everything else is pretty self-explanatory. The um, foundation that I'm using is Fenty Beauty. I do like to use MAC foundation in the summertime, but since we're getting into fall, um, this color is matching me a little bit better. It is a little bit lighter still. My skin does get lighter during the winter, so this is basically my winter shade, but I'm gonna go ahead and start using it. After my makeup is complete, I'm gonna go ahead and start by cutting the lace. I kinda just cut it in three parts so it can be a little bit easier to cut it. Always use a eyebrow razor because, you know, scissors, it makes a straight line. We don't want that. We want the cut to be a little jagged, ragged, you know, not too cute, not too pretty to mimic, you know, your actual hairline. And I put a little bit of got to be glued free spray just on kind of like the sideburns so that that can lay down because the wig was just a little bit snug on me to where it was pulling like backwards. So to make it glueless, I had to at least put a little bit of free spray on the side to make it kind of like fit my head shape basically. <laughs> Okay, so I am wearing their New Body Wave glueless wig in a 13 by 4 undetectable lace front short wig. So this is she. I do have in 16 inches and on their website right now. It is on sale for $168.90. They do offer PayPal, Kalarna, and Afterpay. So if you do that, it'll be $42.22 every two weeks. We love a good you know deal I have the wig and stuff on the screen right here i did want to show you guys what all you get in your box so this is the box i love the little clippy ones right here the little magnet so like i said i do have a 13 by 4 lace front wig 180 percent density 16 inch wig i believe the um 
some conference of the week. It says 22.2, but we'll get into that. And then this is just all the stuff that came on the wig. Right here is what I love about them. They, uh, I think I worked with them once or twice before, but they always send so many goodies. So the first one already got out the package because I've been using it. I love these. They're elastic band. I like the elastic bands that have the little Velcro right here because I like long wigs and I hate trying to like I'll style my hair and then I hate trying to put this on and then pull my hair up and then try to like tie the band in the back. So I love the ones that have that little Velcro right there. So yeah, love that. They send you that. You also get your standard wig cap set of two. You get a bonnet and then also get a edge brush. You get a pair of lashes. They don't look too bad. They say mink lashes, but I don't think they're mink lashes. <laughs> then you get two butterfly clamps, love that. And then you also get a rat tail comb and then their little bitty brochure. So I'm gonna open up the comb to show you guys that this is a glueless install. So this is the comb. I like that they're starting to do um, the like, what is this, reusable or recyclable, I should say. It's made out of like natural products, so yeah. Right here, here, you can see it goes under. Glueless, honey. So it's right here, you can see. I don't wanna push it too much because I don't want it to raise up, but yeah. Super cute. I plucked a lot, I plucked better on this side than this side, so I have to go back and repluck again, but nevertheless, it's cute. I will say the wig, I don't know for, I don't know. My head, I guess is getting bigger or something, but the wig, it does have an elastic band in it, but I had to cut the elastic band out and then re-sew it in um, to make it a little bit more snug. So with doing that, it made it a little bit better, but as you can see, it doesn't come all the way down to my sideburn. So that's my only concern. Um, the wig just isn't like big enough for my head. Um, I don't know, but me moving the elastic band definitely changed it really, really nice. So yeah, me moving the elastic band definitely helped it out a little bit more because before the elastic band was kind of, I don't know how to describe it. It was like in the back of the wig. So I had to move it up in front of the comb. So that made it a lot better. I haven't been experiencing any crazy shedding, just the shedding of me obviously plucking the wig and then, you know, combing it out. Besides that, the wig is super soft, super silky, super flowy. It did come already pre-curled, which is a plus. All I did was curl the front pieces because I like them to be a little bit more defined and like go towards the back. But other than that, this is how the wig came. So super definitely a take it out the box, throw on and go type of wig. I definitely love that about it. So have anything else to say about it? Thank you so much, Tina Shee, for sponsoring this video. And until my next one, I will see you lovelies then. Bye, guys.